this thing. Friday, July 12th, 2019, 9.51 a.m. And uh, I had an idea, maybe I'd do like an iceberg. I don't think I've ever painted an iceberg before. And who is it? Lauren Harris? I can't remember one of the Canadian guys. One of the Canadian group of seven hosers did some really nice iceberg paintings. I was all set to do that then. I just looked at over at this like one I did yesterday and I figured maybe what I'll do is I'll just finish off a series of like these little ones. Look at these cute little guys. Oops, wrong camera view. Boop. Boop. Yeah, look at these cute little little paintings. Look at this little one. This little one. This little guy. Ooh, look at that one, this one. Feels like I did a lot more, but maybe I didn't. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do, I kind of like this simple, like use of lots of pencil and horizontal lines and simple composition. So maybe I'll do something like that. Maybe I won't, but I am going to, well, let me just make sure I'm live on this freaking internet thing. Am I live on the internet? Hello, internet. Where are you? Excuse my yawning. I've only had, this is only my third coffee and I'm already, I'm already, uh, <clears throat> still sleepy. Okay. Oh yeah, I gotta turn the chat thing on. Bloop. Okay, Facebook, are you coming up? Bloop, where are you? Pew, 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 pew. So I did get a message from Restream saying that they're having problems with Facebook streams, but it looks like it's working. I see it was at least I think it's working okay so let's start off let's count how many of these do I have left one two three three pages this is nice thick paper it going to be what's it going to be iceberg do I want to do like a little iceberg painting or let me just look at these ones again for some yeah I, I was for too long a lot of my stuff was looking so happy and but I want to do something dark maybe I'll do something this is just kind of neat, the way I had layers. I was kind of thinking when I did this one of like a sunny day in like someplace like Arles, which is in France, where Van Gogh did his fields. And I, had, I started adding trees and I just stopped. <laughs> so they look kind of weird, but I do, like, I do like this kind of effect, this playful effect. Maybe I'll do something like that. Maybe I'll look at this and steal it. Maybe I'll steal this painting. Paint this. Oh, wait. Oh my God, is that guy, is that his real head? Like, how do I zoom into it? I'm looking at uh, Vivian's <laughs> image. It's like some some dude who, I can't tell if it's, he has, what's that What's that disorder where your your, your brain is, your skull is too small? It's the opposite of aphylocentitis, I think it is, or hydrocentitis, I can't remember. But he looks, he just looks ridiculous. Oh, I wonder if it's that, that guy from, What's that talk show? Is this the Howard Stern show where they got the really, that little short dude? Uh, it looks like him. Oh, he has cancer? But Okay, I, I my eyes aren't very good. Please don't laugh. He has cancer? Oh, you're just screwing with me. I can't hardly see it. My eyes suck. Uh, it looks like the dude from... 
He has cancer. You're full of shit. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. What's that? Here, here. This is this is what this is what I'm gonna say to you. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull up a GIF that expresses what I think. <clears throat> Here, this is what I think. I'm on right now. Wait. I don't believe Right there. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, but I'm going to laugh it. There it is. This thing. I don't believe you. All right. Okay, what's the name of that little dude? Uh, short... Small head. What's the talk show? Will Stern. David, David Stern? Stern? I forget. What's, what's the guy's first name? This guy. What's this guy's name? Look how little his head is. He has that disorder. Beetlejuice. That's it. Beetlejuice. Fuck, that's embarrassing. Look at the shit they put this guy through. Beetlejuice. Howard Stern. That's it. Okay. All right. No more screwing around. Let's get down to business here. Okay. Where's the... How do I turn it? There we go. Okay. No more screwing around. Let's make some... Let's make some wicked ass... Let's make up a... Let's make up a, a thing. Fuck it. Right? Okay. That's probably good enough. All right. So... It looks like this one. I didn't do a wash, did I? I left it white. That's interesting. Normally, like for a while, I've been I've been putting starting with like a wash background color because it adds like when the red shows through, it adds warmth. Like look at look at dark. You know, it would have been a different effect. <clears throat> and this one, I definitely think you can see the wash from the colors behind here. So this one was kind of neat. Hmm. Maybe I'll just, yeah. Let's do something like this. Dave the retard is better. I don't know Dave the retard. You know what's sad? Ugh, man, that honestly was one of our favorite words growing up. And now you can't say it anymore. Retard. I just, it was like, it's, oh, it sucks. People get offended when you say that. So we just say it to our close friends. <laughs> In fact, actually, to be honest, that's how it always was. It always was. No one really said that out, like, out loud in public. But when you're with your close friends, it was a great way to joke around with your friends. And I'm thinking lots. I know lots of people with mental handicaps, and one of them, one of my best friends had a sister who was institutionalized because she was so she was totally unable to take care of herself. It's like she had a brain problem. I have the R word pass because I am one. <laughs> I think I should get one too. I should be the master of of. Uh, is that what they call the R word? The R word. Anyhow, okay. I'm trying to focus here. So, what am I going to do? Am I going to do one of those lots of... So, here's the difference. I'm just procrastinating a little bit because I'm trying to figure this thing out. Just you and me here, Vivian. V... Or maybe it's Vil Villian, V Villian. <clears throat> I knew a John Villian. Okay. Well, oh, for fuck's sake! I put it on the desktop. Damn it! The whole time I was talking, I had it on the wrong view. It's all right. Okay. Lots of horizontal lines or whew, stuff. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, man? Okay. Uh, how am I gonna? What am I gonna do? This was fun to do. This required a bit more processing because the composition was more. You know, I had to have layers, and I wanted the sky to flow this way while the land was coming this way. And I started doing the do little 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 doop 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 And this one was simple. <sighs> hmm. This was like a halfway where I started doing simple, then I added more little details, like that that um, A.Y. Jackson painting that I liked. That you know. Okay. 
Because it all begins with the like how I how I choose to attack it. A wash or no wash? Hmm. Wash or no wash? What should it be? If it's gonna be summery, maybe I'll leave it white. Hmm. Okay. How about this? Let's do another one like this. Just because it's so different from the one yesterday. All right. So to begin a composition, I will choose a pencil. Are you ready for this? Because this is this is how a master works. Okay, you don't know this, but you're you're watching a master. Are you ready? <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna give you a choice. Do I draw with my mouth, or maybe with like the inner side of my arm, like this? Or what if I drew? I draw with my left hand because my left hand sucks. Those are the only body orifices that I'm willing, I'm prepared to do. Maybe my I, I'm prepared to do my ear. Actually, I don't think I've ever done it before. Okay, this is all right. Let's just see how this works. Oh, it's kind of weird feeling. So I have this pencil in my ear, and I'm gonna attempt stick it up your ass. No, I I only that was not an option. I said the orifices were. What were the orifices? I offered my mouth. It's not quite an orifice, my elbow, but I'm doing a little string ear. I don't think this has ever been done before. Okay. Okay, so. Ooh. So now, you know what? It's not coming out. It's not strong enough. Ow. It's kind of it's kind of weird. Stick it up your ass. No, that's just totally inappropriate. What kind of talk is that for you? All right, let's choose to do it with, yeah, let's do it with, with my, um, what's that thing called? The little inverted, el the inverse of your elbow. Okay, this is going to be glorious. Oh, this is master, mastery, I tell you. This is how, this is how, this is, this is beautiful, complete, done. Now you could say you witnessed history, art history. That's something important to do. Now that we have this fantastic composition, let's go in and let's let's uh, make it awesome. Let's make it more awesome than it ever is. Okay, so what do we got here? Oh, paper bag, Wesley! I never. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, it's not a paper bag. Oh, you're talking about this. This ain't no plastic bag, man. This is a uh, paper bag. This is plastic. This is one of those ones that's gonna go in the ocean. And form part of the, the giant reef of, of plastic. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna come up with some tech to figure that shit out. No, this is stuff. For, these are like these special healthy dog chewing things. Okay. All right. Okay. Paper or plastic? You notice they don't ask you that anymore. That's because, well, see, it's because you're an old fart now. People aren't going to know what you're talking about. Back in the day when I was a young man, the grocery store, they used to ask, paper or plastic? What are you talking about, Grandpa? Get off my lawn! <laughs> oh, the crinkly sound, yeah. You know what I should do? I should just quit doing drawing and painting and do one of those ASMR, those, I don't know what it stands for. It's one of those ones... People would watch. Oh, yeah. Well, here. No, fuck it. Fuck it. I want to do just. I, I want to do the thing that requires no effort and you get millions of people and then you get tons of money. So I'm going to do ASMVR. What, if, what does it stand for? Something. Everything's quiet. Here you go. I got this. And here's my other one. Ready? That's all I got. 
Oh no, you know what they do? It's kind of creepy. They get really close to the mic and they whisper into it. And I don't, I don't know why they, f why they care at all about this, but there's all these videos on YouTube about <sighs> people whispering and fuck. Only girls can make no effort and get to, well, you're probably right. No, no, no. When you're as good looking as me, <laughs> yeah, of course. No, you're right. You're right. I, you know where I get, you get, I don't know if it's a matter of jealousy or just pure annoyance, but if you ever go to Instagram and you look at, um, I, I try, I follow a couple of artists. And once in a while I'll come into an artist who has like, you know, like 150, 200,000. And I go there and she's like some young, cute girl who ha almost every picture, like she's put herself in it and posed and spent probably like half an hour. Oh, that's just so f and frustrating. I'm like, oh, you should be judged based on what you can do, not not your cute poses. But whatever. Actually, you know what the thing is? Here's the reality. Here's the truth is those people might have lots of people who follow them, but they're all just like horny young guys or just horny guys looking at girls. So that's that's actually in the in the end, it won't work out for them. If they were smart, they wouldn't care about having lots of people. They would only care about quality of people. On a, okay, hold on, guys. Brie says, on a windy day, Josh Druckmann fondled a plastic bag before painting a gem. This summer, 2009, watch the gouache god. <laughs> oh, man. Let's say you're funny. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. All right. So we have these hills here. And I think this this hill, I'm not sure if I like that hill. Okay. I like the... Cl uh, so here's, here's how it works. I'm feeling... Okay. Here's the one that was in my ear. Oh, it's the same one I drew with. Okay, if I'm gonna do hills that come down, I'm gonna think of flow. So, so maybe the clouds will all come across, like this kind of a thing. <laughs> Excuse me, and I don't want, I don't want this hill up here. So we're gonna kill that hill. Now the question is, do I want to add some trees? Do I want to add tree? Oh, I do kind of like the light. There's something called atmospheric perspective. If you don't know it's things like hills in the distance tend to be more blue shifted and sometimes lighter but normally it has to do with blue and red shifted so things closer tend to be if you want to get a sense of depth and you're doing a landscape so atmospheric perspective is, is just imagine it's like fog or mist in the distance so things far away tend to be bluer so actually this is less red <laughs> believe it or not um, so it's, it's the more like the absence of red and it tends towards the blue spectrum but you can also make it lighter like I did here. So maybe maybe what I'll do here is, how about this? This could be like a, a hill that's close by, and then this will be one off in the distance. And then maybe for a composition, okay, here's a couple approaches. Look at, I'm gonna do very flat. That's an op option. And this is now look, starting to look like an ocean, actually. Now this looks like, this could be like, it could be like this, where this is water. Like a spit of, here's here's water. And this could be like a, just a little bit of land coming out. We could do that. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Let's do that. Screw it now. It kind of reminds me of a... Uh, East Coast Canada. Oh, you know where I'm, you know, maybe I was thinking about is that last one I did yesterday had this cool little spit of blue. See, it's a little bit of blue. <clears throat> maybe, yeah, okay, this is going to be a light blue so I can do the atmospheric perspective. This will be maybe greens. Okay, yeah, let's just do this. Although the yellow does look nice, doesn't it? Oh, I just thought of something. I could try this. I don't know if I could pull it off. Having yellow sparkles. I, you know, hmm. Okay, I'm just going to just go with this one. I'm not going to think too much. So here's, here's this bit of land. Comes out like this. Maybe it'll come out a bit more like that. 
like just, who knows just to give it no no it doesn't and this is just this, this will be like this hill in the background and here's going to be the horizon and then we'll have these like cloud maybe yeah maybe some puffy clouds oh i know what we could do is have the clouds and then just do really obvious gradations like if you think about some of those is it lismer okay what does it say to defeat the huns all right here we go i have no idea what that reference is if you don't know Wesley yet you gotta understand he loves throwing out these puns and stuff for which you need to know a lot of stuff okay so let me just go to is arthur lismer no, so i'll tell you what's in my head arthur lismer yeah, I'm sure I spilled it wrong. No, no. Oh, the, actually, he's not a bad painter. He's not the one I was thinking about. Like, this one's pretty badass. This is a kick-ass painting. See, I feel I should get back into my oil paintings. And, oh, there's little people there. That's Oh, fuck, look at that one. That is nice. Ah, oh, man, that's gorgeous. Holy shit. I should stop screwing around and like I've been using like I have been using photographs you know I try to come up with it just from my head but sometimes you need an inspiration of nature like look at this see the little lot I don't know if you could see the cursor let's make this bigger view file I just want to analyze this and show you why this is awesome zoom 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 this is why this is a nice oh that's beautiful okay okay look at the little rim light he has here and it transitions from orange to yellow okay now here's something that oh fuck, that's awesome this is a something i'm very familiar with because i spent a lot of my life when i was younger up north and paddling in a canoe by large rocks there would be reflections that would come off and you would only notice this if you're up close so see these yellow lines that's the light being reflected up on like the water reflection and Look at this. I like how he's varied up the brush strokes. Has these little puffy things. Then he has a little whoop, and I do that all the time. Um, if you look down here, tiny little dots of light reflecting from the sun hitting the sides of the trees. Fuck, this is gorgeous, man. I oh, I love this. Look at the uh, the deep blues, and it gets dark here. Like if you're in a canoe and you look down, it's just dark right next to where the shadow is, and you can feel the warmth. Of the light hitting the rocks across here and then this is all exactly the kind of vibe you get from the 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 shadow part but it's still lit up because it's a beautiful day oh my god I'm, I'm loving this painting i'm saving it i love that painting wow okay um i can get distracted sometimes by this author lismer okay yeah so I'm, i okay no i'm gonna i have to look up group of seven because i want to find the dude who i'm thinking lauren harris now who the hell is this oh i don't know who that guy is but lauren harris <laughs> group this guy how do you spell his name Lauren, L-A-W. That was wrong. L-A-W. Okay. All right, finally. So Lauren Harris, his style was very distinctive. It was always very like a, a soft geometric shapes that had a gradation to them. And it's, it's almost like Art Deco. <clears throat> I mean, you could look at all these and see that right away, right? Like, for example, here on this one is really obvious. See the okay. Here's what I was. <laughs> I've I've got a very good visual memory, um, but everything else about me is terrible. <laughs> so this is kind of what I was thinking, and I'll switch back to mine so you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'll turn my painting around. Okay. See how the clouds they arc out and they have a light that gradients to shadow and then gets dark and then light. That is literally what I was just starting to do up here. If you could see this, I was literally making <laughs> lines like that and then starting to do the shadow work. So I was thinking about doing that. And then he, Lauren Harris, yeah. Oh man, look at this painting. 
That is beautiful. There is an artist in Toronto that I, I've kind of gotten to know. Her name is uh, like Wendy Birmingham, and she does some really nice um, play with light um, landscape paintings. These are so nice. See, that's my problem is I got to get it the fuck out of my house. Problem is I don't like going anywhere. These are some nice paintings. Woo! Can't you just feel that? Okay, look, you can tell this dude did an undercoat of blue. And I'll tell you why. You know, you can see this. You can actually... You look at the negative space. So, here. See this darkness here and around the edges? And what else can I show you? Yeah, you can see it right here. So this guy did it, an undercoat of a darker blue. Then he painted this lighter blue on top. So the effect is... It feels more filled in, and uh, it's a um, it's it's a smart way to do it. Sometimes, in fact, maybe I'm I think I'm gonna go and do it with this. Again, when I look at when I look at that now, and look at this, and I'm going, ah, oh, this looks like a piece of crap. I mean, I'll make it good. I'll make it my own. But man, that painting is nice. Okay, I'm just gonna close that. Close that. I don't need to see that. I'll just put it away. Pew. Just gonna put those tabs away. I don't know if you can see this or not. Okay, go back to the chat. Okay. All right. To defeat the Huns, that's where we left off. We have no idea what our buddy Wesley is talking about, but that's just par for the course. Okay. So what I'm gonna do. We'll do a wash. Why not? I'll do a wash of blues. I really don't recall ever doing a wash of blues. But let's try it and we'll see what happens. And once again, I forgot to save the video. Or I mean, I forgot to start, forgot to record the video. Oh well. Hmm. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stop the live stream, and then I'm going to start it again, and I'll tell you why. Because I forgot to record the video. Um, I'll have a copy on YouTube, but the most highest res I'll ever have is 720, and I prefer to record in 1080p. So what I'll do is I'll stop this live stream, start a new one, and start recording that, and at least I'll have from this moment on in HD. So let me just, I'm just going to turn off live stream, and I'll be back in one second. <laughs> 